Greetings, y'all. Welcome back to my channel, Amina Flower Moon, and thank you for tuning in here with me once again. So today I want to take you on a journey with me while I create flower essences. Um, but before I actually show you the process, I want to talk a little bit about um, why. Why you want to make flower essences, why you might want to work with flower essences, and how they can benefit you or someone you love. Um, so flower essences are more so for energetic and emotional healing compared to um, the use of like tinctures, teas, decoctions, things like that. They can have an, an effect on our emotional bodies because all of our the different layers of our being are connected, right? But um, the thing about flower essences is that you're not actually using the body of the plant you are, but that's not what you're extracting. You're not extracting the um, physiological constituents of the plant. You're extracting the essence. So what is the essence? The essence of something is like its breath. Like the, our essence is our breath, right? Um, the essence is like the spirit. So um, flower essences are like the spirit of a flower being extracted. Um, and the way they're done is you take a vessel. Um, it has to be glass or crystal. Um, a bowl, um, you fill it with waters, um, and I go a little bit into in the video, I go into like the kind of water I'm using, um, but you can use spring water, whatever water you have available, um, you pour the water into the bowl, and then you place the flowers over the top. You don't actually submerge the flowers, you don't mix them in, you just place them over the top of the water, and you allow them to sit in the sun, and for the whole day you allow the sun to um, to beam itself into the flowers and extract the, um, the essence, the spirit of the flower into the water. And then from there you have this water that's full of the spirit, the essence of the flower. And then what's done is um, some kind of alcohol is used to preserve it. Um, brandy is used a lot, um, and that's what I'm using today. Um, but do your own research and see what works best for you, see what resonates most with you too. You know, a lot of the time, we, we seek external validation for why we should use a certain thing or do things a certain way. You know, in reality, when it comes to preparing these, um, with preparing um, medicines and things with flowers and with herbs, it's important to tap into our intuition, you know, and uh, do what feels right in our bodies, what feels good for us. So um, I just want to say that. But so, yeah. Um, you people I'm sure a lot of people are skeptical about flower essences and are they do they work are they even like legit and I was the same way until I had a very profound experience um, using a tobacco flower essence I had I did a plant meditation after I took the essence and um, the plant communicated with me very strongly communicated my ancestors to me you know and so I'm not here to try to convince anyone to use flower essences if you know what they are if you've used them or if you're even curious um that has to come from within you and it came from within you naturally so um, it's not my intention to try to convince you but um that is the gist of what a flower essence is um, and why someone might want to use a flower essence so let me take you on this journey as i create flower essences um yeah i'm really excited so stay tuned Just come to the base and just snip it like that. See? And set it on the scar. So go ahead, baby. Okay. First, you gotta say thank you to the flower, too, as you pick the flower. Say thank you. Thank you. And put them on the scarf here, baby. So we've picked our flowers. That's calendula. 
These are the fennel flowers. So for the fennel, I did my best to pick the smaller ones towards the top that were open because the larger ones, the more mature ones, are going to seed. And I really want the essence to be of the flower, not the seed or the beginning seed head. So um, I'm just going to let them sit here um, for just a little bit. Um, while the bugs kind of scatter, skadoodle, so we don't have any bug essences <laughs> within our flower essence. And then I'll come back and show you the next step. Bar, this is our sunflower. It grew so fast, and I can't wait. And once this guy's big, I'm going to make an essence with the sunflower too. So stay on the lookout for a sunflower essence. This is um, filtered water. I wanted to use some spring water, couldn't get my hands on some, so it's just like a um, filtered water, like very clean water that we drink. We don't use tap water, we um, drink filtered water. So this is a filtered water, but what I did yesterday, I put it out in the garden about midday, and I let it sit in the sun for the rest of the day and then overnight too. Um, so it infused the solar energies and also the lunar energies. Um, so that's the water I'm going to be using for the essences. So, I'm going to take some of my solar and lunar infused, elemental infused filtered water. Like I mentioned, you could use spring water. I would not use tap water, but hey, that's what you want to do. I wouldn't. And we're going to fill our sanitized, very clean glass bowl with the water. Maybe not fill, just enough. And then we're going to place the flowers just on the very top there. We don't actually want to mix the flowers down into the water. We just want to place them on top. This is the calendula. I hope I have enough to cover the full surface of the water, but hey. Yeah, what we're doing is just placing these right on top yes baby that one too so just place it right on top don't mix it in yeah that's perfect somebody and so what happens is during the day the Sun will penetrate the very top and it'll infuse the essence of the flower into the water Oh wow, we had a perfect amount to cover the top. You want to... Yes, baby, put it right there in that open spot right there. Perfect, somebody. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nope, those two we're doing separate. So that, that's it for the calendula. So this is a calendula one. Placing them on the top. Just like the other one. We want to try to cover the surface. job somebody here one at a time baby here you got it yeah they're all tangled up together so here's the calendula essence and the making and here's the fennel and so like I said you really only want to set the flowers right on the top and allow the sun to penetrate through and extract just their essence. Um, and so we will wait all day. It's a windy day, but it's warm. The sun is strong. I don't see any clouds. And hopefully none show up. And we're going to allow the sun to assist us in creating this beautiful, these beautiful essences. And um, I'll come back come back to you and show you what it's looking like when we're done and what the next steps are to take so at this point um, I brought the flower essences inside and I strained them I didn't get that part on video they're so warm from the outside and the smell I could even smell the individual flowers so what I'm doing here is I'm adding some water um, about 80% of the amount of water that was already in there just to cut the essence because it is very strong it has a lot of energy is buzzing 
so I added some water to um, balance that out a little bit and now um, I'm grabbing the brandy that I'm using to preserve it the Christian Brothers brandy not endorsing this brand that's just what I use um, I like to use it for tincture making as well um, it's a good a good brandy to use and it's affordable so that's the one that I use other things you can use is honey liquor that's something I really wanted to use couldn't get my hands on it um, but that's a great option as well for flower essences um, because it's it is more neutral it has its it has a more neutral energy than brandy but brandy's good too just use what you can so here I'm adding about um, I'm doubling the amount of liquid in the jars with the brandy. Very simple. You can even see the difference in color between the two essences. Um, so you can really, really tell that the energy is different between the two of them. Um, in the fennel, there are a little bit of fennel flowers floating around, which is fine. Not a big deal. And that's it. So I just wanted to add one final thing about the flower essences. It's the next day and I'm just looking at my video footage and realized I forgot to add this in. So I want to talk about how, how to use them. Um, so typically flower essences are packaged in um, dropper bottles, like this, similar to the bottles used for tinctures. Um, and you're using very small amounts because it is energetic healing. It's for emotional healing. Um, so what you do, what I recommend, and how I use them, is I set my intention based on the flower that's used. Um, I set my intention, I use my intuition as far as how much to take. Um, usually it's between like three and five drops, so it's not a lot. Um, I do it at a time where I have quiet, where I can meditate or lay back um, and be still and listen to what the flower essence um, has to share with me and pay attention to how it's interacting with me on an emotional and energetic level. So that's um, how I use them. That's how I would recommend using them. If you're interested, I will have these available for um, barter, for purchase, or for trade. So hit me up. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, bye.